Hi everyone, it's the second Sunday of Advent. You can see that we still have our purple color over here. We have two candles lit this time. The second candle symbolizes faith. It reminds us of Joseph and Mary's journey to Bethlehem. So during Advent, we prepare our homes to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We might put up an Advent wreath like this one. The wreath has one pink candle and the three purple candles. There's one candle for each Sunday in Advent. Well, other than an Advent wreath, what are some other ways you might prepare your homes to celebrate Jesus' birth? Maybe you put up a tree. I bet you, you even have a beautiful nativity or crush that you set up somewhere in your home. Maybe there are other things you do too. During Advent, we're also supposed to prepare our hearts and minds for Jesus' coming. Many years ago, John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus. Let's listen to what John the Baptist said about how we are to prepare. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. May Christ's word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. When John the Baptist went to the desert to preach, he always said to the people, Change your lives. The reign of God is near. Long ago, Isaiah the prophet was talking about John the Baptist when he said, there was someone out in the desert proclaim, proclaiming, prepare the way for the coming of God, make a straight path for the coming of God. John wore clothes that were made of camel's hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. Many people went to the desert to see John and confess their sins. John baptized them in the Jordan River and told them, I am baptizing you in water to change your lives. But someone is coming after me who is more powerful than I am. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. And I'll say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what is John the Baptist's message in the Gospel reading today? He's saying change our lives. Prepare the way of the Lord. The reign of God is here. It's a message we need to hear today also, isn't it? John the Baptist tells us that we prepare the way of the Lord when we repent or turn away from sin and turn back towards God. We can reflect on any poor choices we've made and ask God for forgiveness. We then change our behavior by making good moral choices. In this way, we prepare our minds and our hearts to welcome Jesus at Christmas. What can you do to ready your hearts minds and home to welcome Jesus. There's a lot of things. Um, let's take a moment and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will grow in holiness this Advent, preparing a way for the Lord who shows us how to treat each other in his friendly way. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit, which gives us wisdom and insight of counsel and knowledge and reverence for the Lord. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for peace in our troubled world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer Let's finish today with an Our Father, the perfect prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to remind you that next week, we have a holy day of obligation on Thursday, so you can come. Um, we have masses Thursday morning at 8 or Thursday evening at 7 p.m. It's the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, where we remember that Mary was chosen specially to give birth to Jesus. So let's keep that in mind that we go to Mass on that special day. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.